Hey everyone, welcome back. I go by the name of Roxy Rose and this is Roxy Rose Guides. Y'all, I, ju I just got done recording my last video, so this is just a continuation. <laughs> Welcome back, y'all. Thank you so much for coming back on this channel. I am Roxy Rose, and this is Roxy Rose Guides, where I guide you through all things budget, finance, and debt payoff, along with the other things I've been trying to get into, like my tote and carry video, which I got into, or my black-owned business haul, which I got into. So please go ahead and like and subscribe, click those other videos, and check it out. Um, but yeah, I want to really go ahead and thank my subscribers. You are wanted and appreciated. So thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for leaving comments. Thank you so much for just being there and letting me know that you guys are watching. Thank y'all, man. It's been amazing. You know, happy May to everybody. Um, this video will probably come out after Mother's Day, but I'm gonna say it again. Happy Mother's Day to all those mothers out there. It is a hard job to be a mother. I don't know yet, but I'm hoping to, you know, find out soon. But yo, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot going on in life, in the world. So uh, thank you so much, mothers, for doing all that you do for your children. and being the best that you can with or without someone to support you. So thank you. Today, we are going to go ahead and do our monthly budget as well as just cash stuffing our um, sink our cash envelopes, which I haven't done in a long time. Not our sinking funds, cash envelopes. Maybe if I have a little extra, maybe. But just the cash envelopes today. So let's get into that. In the budget book, Defense, I'm gonna go ahead and turn to may yes we are in may um did i leave out some stuff i don't know maybe i left out a bunch of stuff i feel like i did i haven't really like i've been really late with this video and with my financial organization this month so there's probably a lot of stuff missing we're gonna find out when we get into the actual budget i'll just quickly go over what i know so far so i should have been budgeted on Sunday, but now it's all the way, like the past, the first week of May is gone. So I'm already behind on there, but um, the mortgage came out on the second. I have student loans that start actually to come out on the 10th, but I usually, more, majority of them come out on the 14th. We got our water bill, which should be coming out soon, which you're gonna see. Car loan, not note, is gonna come out. I'm also missing things like, um, you know, we have water, so gas and other things. So when we go over it in the next one, you'll see it. So here's my calendar for May. And here's my personal slash business calendar for May as well. I did one video and I uploaded it on the second. And it's been a long time. So now let's go to our debt and our bills. So... For my paycheck number one, I got Tides, The Mortgage, Earnest, which is coming out, Aspire, and Navient. All my student loans are coming out in the first paycheck now, which is actually pretty good. So I don't need to, need to worry about it for the rest of the month. Then my Xfinity comes out and VidIQ comes out, which I actually might stop paying for because I don't even know why I pay them right now. Um, next, we got paycheck number two. Which has my tides, my AC loan that me and my husband took out, my uh, town gas, um, which is less than last month, which is a lot better. Um, I'm, I can't wait till the weather gets better so we could just turn it off. If we could have a whole month of just 70 degree weather so that we could just turn off our gas for a month and not have to pay, imagine that. Um, water is $118, but it's given out quarterly, so we skipped a few months before we had to pay. Get, uh, PSNG, I don't pay that, and neither does water anyway. And then Progressive is 205. And I think it's gonna go down, thank God, because the policy is over and it's renewing, and we only have one car on the policy, so I, yeah, we argued about this, and yeah, I need to get this down. 
All right, so these are the amounts that I need to do for my cash envelopes, which should be coming out today. Um, so we have groceries, which is 160, gas, which is 120, giving $20 for the month, home, which is $20 for the month, and spending, which is $40 for the month. Now, you will see these squiggles. Because I did this late, I squiggled out the first week because honestly, it didn't count. I was doing other stuff and I was not. I didn't go to the bank. I didn't do a lot of things I probably should have done. So that is something that uh, we got to work on. <sighs> but it's okay. We'll do the best that we can with what we got, right? So now let's go ahead and just stuff these envelopes. So, oh, where am I getting my money from? Duh. Last time, I literally just put it on the side because I'm recording back to back. So yeah, 50. Oh, let's see how much we have to even stuff. <laughs> 50. 70, 90, 110, 30, 50, 70, 90, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300, 3, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So you have $345. I don't think we're going to need all of this, but we could. I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, awesome. So, for groceries, we need about 50 bucks. I'm going to put this in here for this week for groceries, and then I'm going to, you know, break it down a little bit later. Oh, wait. Oops. So, for groceries, we have 160. So, I'm going to do one, seven, so 50, 70, 90, 110. 130, 150, 160. And I'm going to break these down for $40. So you can break up those amounts. Here we go. So groceries has 160. Good. Then give the, no, gas. Gas has, what did I say? 120. So. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 1, and 120. Good. Gas is still expensive. I think last time I checked, it was 4.45 in my area. 4.45 a gallon. Uh, giving. 5, 10, 15, 20. Yep, giving is 20 bucks. That should be great. Household, 5, 10, 15, 20. Household things that we need. Oh, we might not have enough, y'all. Let's see. Spending, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay. I'll take it. So I got to adjust this on here. Instead of $40, it'll be $25. Okay. I mean, listen, do what you can. I'm not going to go all the way to the bank back for just $15. So that's what we got for the month. Y'all, that is my May budget for the month of May. And um, as well as my cash envelopes which I will be spreading out so that I make sure that I have enough for everything per week so yeah thank you guys for joining me I truly appreciate it I hope you guys continue to watch please go ahead leave a comment like and subscribe I hope you guys like this video and yeah thank you guys for watching happy May happy Mother's Day enjoy these flowers God bless Roxy Rose out